for sure you hear flying at them to say whenever you seat it, fasten your seat belt. And the same rule is applied for pilots and cabin crew as well. But seats which belongs to crew are equipped with a five point harness system. But they need to be able to uh, release this harness system or unbuckle this harness system as quickly as possible. And for that, you have this uh, turnbuckle, which basically uh, remove all five points at the same time. Mm. But this harness system has one extra feature, which is lever between shoulder harnesses. Whenever you press it, it will release shoulder harnesses. And actually, how this uh, turnbuckle works, let me show you. Each slot has its own latch, which will engage the harness and you are not able to release it. But thanks to turnbuckle, this latches will retract and you can release harness. Same logic is applied for this lever, but instead of releasing all four points, you release only two shoulder points like this and purpose of this feature will be explained by my colleague from the cockpit Timur. In the cockpit we have a five point seat belt which we use for takeoff and landing. When turning off the seat belt signed in the cabin we release our shoulder straps. The lower three harnesses we will always wear and one tip from a professional's point of view always wear your seat belts just like we do in the cockpit. You will never know when we have to break sharply about the takeoff or there's suddenly some turbulence in the air or an unexpected hard landing. And now to the specials. When pulling sharply on the shoulder straps, they will stay in position, just like in a car. This is for strong decelerations, like on short runways or in an aborted takeoff or for emergency situations. The seat belts also have a locking feature on the side of the seat and this is for the very very rare occasion of a crash landing, a ditching or if it becomes necessary to restrain a crew member due to a medical situation. 